Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Nice Lady Productions. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to whip you through a review of the Bright Tangerine Misfit Atom. As with all my reviews, I really try and get you as close to the gear as possible so you can really make an educated decision as to whether this is the right equipment for you. Bright Tangerine makes some incredible matte boxes all the way from their Stromer DNA, which is a fully featured 165 millimeter diameter matte box to fit the big ass lenses to something so small like the Misfit Atom that's really built for handheld gimbal steady cam lightweight rigs or just small cameras where you don't have this heavy matte box attached to the front of your lens. You can fit up to two filters in, but it also has a tilting tray. So you add this little piece to the front and you can put the two filters on a slope so that you don't see the reflection of the filters in your lens, which is very important. What's great about this matte box is that it has a built-in 114 millimeter clamp on diameter. So a lot of cinnamon lenses are 114 millimeters. They also make donuts for practically every step in the progression all the way down 95 85 and so on there's a great company called cord vision that provides really great step up rings from 58 52 onward up to 77 so that you have that same 80 millimeter front diameter so that you can clamp on a matte box but you know what is so cool about the misfit atom is it also has the ability to attach to 15 and 19 millimeter rods with an additional attachment underneath you can either fit 4x4 filters or 4x5 0.65 filters and it has this really cool tray where you just basically are clipping it into the frame and you can fit two Vignetting and considering what matte boxes vignette is an important consideration. It's really where Bright Tangerine sets itself apart from the pack. It is very focused on having the widest field of view. So matte boxes are great for holding filters. Of course, they're great for adding that contrast and color fidelity to your image. Also having the top flag just makes this an even more viable product. So here's a perfect example of what I would never normally do, which is just have my filters hit the sun directly. Just tilting that top flag down, look, I'm getting that beautiful image of Maya on the sunniest day possible. Thanks for hanging out with me for this review. And if you haven't checked out my Bright Tangerine Viv Studio Matte Box review, definitely give that a look. It's a different beast and also a fantastic Mapbox. Ciao.